All right, let's dig into some examples. Let's start with this one. This is the Phrygian Valley in Turkey, and this rock apparently is volcanic ash, a layer of volcanic ash which has been petrified subsequently. And I don't necessarily doubt that, but it's not particularly relevant. Uh, I could imagine this whole rocky area being artificially deposited, or I could also imagine it being natural and then subsequently worked over, but uh, that's neither here nor there really in terms of making the points I want to make. So let's look at a few of these. We have some one track, we have two track tracks, we have multi-track tracks, like three or four side by side, some crossing over. We have some uh, sets of double tracks, like these would suggest a two track vehicle, like a standard car or a tank or something like that. Same here, two track vehicle, hints at that, but then the appearance of this along the side of it hints at something else perhaps or hints at the possibility that these two-track vehicles have some kind of component along the side of them. Uh, so that's possible. Certainly in this image, it looks like a two-track vehicle with some type of aspect along the side of it, or tooling, something scraping or carving the rock, whether wet rock or dry rock, whatever the case, or whether it's morphing the rock as it goes, whatever. So a number of things to consider there. This one obviously looking like a strict two-track type of deal. Here we have more of a multi-track thing. So this could be multiple pass-throughs, we might suppose, with a two-track device. But then we have this one off to the side, kind of by itself. So this we might consider this to be a single-track device. So now we're talking about, okay, some of these devices have one track, some have two tracks, okay, no big deal, not too crazy, that's certainly possible. Um, some of these tracks are shallower, some are deeper. Um, okay, and then we have areas like this, which it looks like almost like a Roomba going back and forth, like a little automated vacuum thing, if you've seen one of those, something uh, just tracing a path and kind of carving out an area. But first of all, why? This doesn't seem like particularly practical activity, although it certainly looks like it could have been, and that is uh, a testament to the expert execution we're dealing with. And here's another look at similar stuff. So here, resembling tracks, but uh, here we notice these bumps, so we need to now consider this as a component of the whole picture of what crafted this area, what sculpted it. So we have these indentations here, these little divots, and these many right angles and stuff, and uh, these tracks. So here it kind of looks pillowy, right? It looks like something's been kind of going back and forth over the area, perhaps possibly leaving little, like rolling over the area, leaving little lumpy lumps as it rolls over it, so that could be the case. Then we have stuff like this, which is like an isolated stretch of track, so this is not consistent with the idea of a vehicle with tracks, leaving tracks patterns. However, I must admit that we can't really see what's going on in the surrounding area, so we can't conclude too much from this image. Uh, another look at the pillowy look with the indentations, this one uh, some nice grooves along the side and divots, and again, in my opinion, this is all arbitrary details made to suggest a possible culprit or explanation. And, uh, okay, so here we have kind of step-like patterns almost, like one, two, and again, not appearing particularly ordered it's semi-ordered and semi-random, and some straight lines, some kind of wobbly lines. Here's a good one. We see it's basically vast fields of these areas, and we've got all kinds of patterns along these fields. We've got these 
little patchy sets of lines and little divots and we've got little curves and partial tracks and stuff so it's to me this doesn't suggest a vehicle although like right here we see what looks like tracks however right here not particularly consistent with that um, okay so actually follow this and it looks like it may have gone over here but then um, and then it, we don't see it here so it could be this was a pass through this way and then something else did a pass through over it uh, subsequently so that's certainly possible however also possible is the idea that this was all created at once by some advanced device which just like beamed a pattern to impose and in that pattern was some start and stop suggestions so this start and stop component here it looks like this is interrupted by this pattern in the middle this could be deceptive or a false suggestion so another look at it there the the tracks potentially and this secondary look seeming like it was uh, worked over and uh, in my opinion just to create a strange mystery similar deal here like okay let's suppose it was vehicles or industrial devices of some type uh, even high-tech ones you know advanced lost civilization or whatever okay let's suppose that well what were they doing with it <laughs> they just <laughs> making crisscross grids for the heck of it is it petrified little farms was it like are these holes like where some device was planting seeds or something you know what i mean so it's very cryptic not to say it could not have been functional it certainly could and the whole argument on my part is still very instinctive so i i still have a rough time giving stronger evidence that this is deliberate mystery or deliberate gibberish or partial gibberish so i mean don't take my word for it but just consider it please and then okay so here's where it gets a little more blatant in my opinion the stairs right here so we've got these stairs how necessary are these like look at the surrounding area would you really need a set of stairs here so carved by hand i don't think you would go to all this effort to carve this set of stairs by hand here uh, not to mention a, a wonky misshapen set of stairs and then um, when you have easy access like right next to it uh, so it's already pretty low there's no difficulty in climbing from this level to this level so you don't need a set of stairs so let's think of another possibility was it industrial vehicles doing something and they left this stair pattern mm, i don't think so because it looks quite a bit like a staircase and the phony staircase or the partial false staircase that kind of leads to nowhere or doesn't make much sense in context that's a very common recurring theme in all these ancient mystical or mysterious sites we see the same thing at petra we see the same thing in peru and bolivia just partial little staircases that don't seem to serve much of a purpose so that's one of the calling cards or hallmarks of this nonsense protocol in my opinion so we have the pillowy look here with this cleared out area all just variations on certain patterns and archetypes okay so the staircase anything else i want to say about that oh i guess there's the idea of petrified structures and petrified imprints so like this maybe there was a staircase on top of this and it left an impression on this stone mm, i just say in instinctively i don't think that's particularly likely it could be certainly but it doesn't explain everything um, anything else oh and then could this be from an actual structure like a house or a building and most of the former structure was done away with and then for whatever reason they just left the staircase remaining and then that got petrified or 
was artificially petrified or something like that. That could be, certainly. There could be actual components of former civilization and former structures and devices and all that, like, baked into the landscape here. That could be, certainly. However, there's some type of gibberishy tweaking out of the area, regardless. Okay, so another area of Turkey. This is south of Darren Kuyu somewhere. It's a massive field of many, many kilometers of silly patterns. So these, some of them are resembling tracks partly, but many of them are like steps. Some are like two steps side by side. Some are like single steps or multi, multiple rails of, or rows of step-like indentations or some type of tracks. And we see kind of how wobbly and meandering it is, somewhat haphazard. And this steps aesthetic is another common symbol in the symbol soup, in my opinion, or another common geometrical archetype, if you will. So here in Nagarjuna Hills in India, we have a very similar thing. It's just a line of like a dotted line or a dashed line, which is a similar but different variation on this, in my opinion, and basically done by the same very high-tech pattern imposer. And it just imposes various variations on the pattern archetypes. So another look at that here, and we see these fine little dots, indentations, so that's an apparent clue or hint as to the origin of these. However, I'm saying that's just yet another phony false detail thrown into the mix to make it rich and mysterious. Okay, and then at Petra in Jordan we have something very similar to that. So we have this structure. Uh, we could spend a whole five hours on that, but off to the side of it we see on this side and on this side a set of two rows of these step-like patterns. And we see it kind of fade in and fade out here, here and there. So are we made to suppose that this was some type of advanced vehicle climbing up the face? Well, it's certainly somewhat suggestive of that, isn't it? And the, the fading in and fading out is mysterious as well. And then, you know, it could just be erosion or uh, might just start here and stop there. So we had to puzzle over, well, what did this? Or was it hammer and chisel? Or what was this? So it's a big mystery, not to mention the haphazard trajectory of it. See, contrast the precision of this area with the clumsiness of these tracks next to it, or if we want to call them tracks. And that pairing of precision with clumsiness is a deliberate mismatch in my opinion. So another look here and a good close-up of these indentations here and I would have a hard time coming up with a functional explanation for these indentations. And here we see these figures, they don't actually look like they're eroded, they just look partially manifested or partly constructed, partly sculpted. So this one almost looks eroded, but like this one, it's like this leg was never even there. So that's another thing you'll see in a lot of these places, like very poorly feigned erosion. It's like in your face fake. Um, and then these, not to mention these tool marks, which I would suggest are done by the same thing which did these dashed patterns or tracks patterns on the side. It's just phony imposed patterns. And then it's a little harder to make the case, but in my opinion, the whole structure or architectural aspect here in the middle is the same exact strategy or phenomenon, just a very rich pattern protocol, which makes strange, very strange combinations of things that create a, a magical, mystical, historical site for us to uh, contextualize off of and triangulate our identities off of, ultimately. Perhaps that's a little more speculative, but 
uh, yeah, let's just move on. So more Petra here, these tracks up the side of it here. So purposeful, maybe byproducts of the uh, terraforming or construction of these cliff sides. Um, that's more, that's somewhat likely, but um, I don't think if you were going to go to all this trouble to do this precision that you would just leave sloppy construction remnants or tool marks along the side. I think you would do a little bit better job. Like why do such a good job here and then such a poor sloppy derpy job here? So I don't think these tracks are actual byproducts of construction. Here we see an extremely large rocky face which has been cut or hewn. Uh, H-E-W-N, kind of a new word for me. And here we see these, uh, not great resolution, but these tracks, again, these dotted lines, dashed lines of holes or indentations here. Uh, pretty hard to make out, but if you're in full screen, you can see them. And I think they're placed there to frame a phony constructor or a phony construction method. In other words, these dashed lines are put there to cover the tracks of the actual construction method, uh, among other reasons. So another reason would be just to create a deliberate mystery and discombobulate, ultimately. Yeah. Okay, and then also more Petra, very large site. These could obviously be perceived as the vehicle tracks or we might even suppose these are natural, so these are uh, could be either, and then this hole could be natural or could be artificial. Uh, I'm saying it's like a blend of those two aesthetics. So this is like a partial incorporation of the dual vehicle tracks pattern, the dual track pattern with the two tracks side by side. This is a variation on that, but it's tweaked out to incorporate a more natural look or a more flowy look just per variation because the this protocol, whatever method it uses to decide on the variation, it's it's got a lot of variation going. Okay, and then the site in general just is very nonsensical, like these facades and silly, like this top hat on top of this building, these gibberishy staircase things and uh, these silly columns. The scale of it is bewildering by itself, but then you have these doorways to nowhere, just like a blocked up doorway for no purpose. So this is purposeless. And uh, I think this whole scene was whipped up by the same thing which whipped up the tracks. Okay, now let's consider Sigiriya or Ravana's palace in Sri Lanka. And we have, again, the same dashed line pattern up the sides of it. We have it horizontally, we have it vertically, we have single lines of it, we have double lines of it. We have these uh, continuous or non-dashed, non-dotted, uh, just track-like patterns here, just a little portion of it there. And then this here, just a little segment of track, very nonsensical and difficult to make sense of. Here, we get a good look at the horizontal look. So this is a little more continuous and then it just kind of starts to dash or dot a little bit here. Dot, 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 dot. And this one looking like it turns around maybe. So that adds to the mystery. And not to mention all these subtle little indentations all over the rock itself. And so these two vertical ones which suggest a two-tracked vertical vehicle or trajectory by a vehicle but uh, in consideration with all these other patterns, uh, especially with this right angle turn right here, it's like, mm, is it really a vehicle? I don't think so. And even if it is, like, what is it doing? So it's, it's nonsense, it's nonsensical mystery and very lumpy and silly here. So just a decent look at that. So this is all by the same thing which creates the tracks. So here's the tracks pattern, more or less, right here, like two tracks, kind of, and then kind of a third one going along the side, 
but it's got these dashed patterns to it. So we have the dashes, then we have the smooth channel, and it's all a soup of almost this, almost that, but not quite either. So another look here at the step-like nature of it. So are these functional steps carved by hand? Are they carved by a vehicle? Is it some of the one, some of the other? Mm, and it's not particularly accessible. Like this is on the sheer face of a rock, a huge rock. So it's a deliberate nonsense mystery in my opinion. So more silliness here. This is obviously non-functional, just silly steps here or dash patterns. So here it's looking more like stairs or steps but it's got a very similar feel and look to it as the dashed and dotted patterns we're seeing elsewhere, like here and and here. So it's not, these aren't actual stairs, these are just variations on the groove pattern which the tracks are part of. So the same thing here, this is just a nonsensical groove. It doesn't serve any purpose there. Uh, same thing with all of these. Like three three sets here, and then two sets here, and just random holes as well. So one more look here, just to compare the two. These are basically the same as these in Turkey. So Sri Lanka, or near India, and then in Turkey, pretty far away. Just a massive field, which is, I'm saying, just warped by high technology to include silly steps patterns and any number of variations on that type of pattern. Tiermi, Spain, basically same thing, just a slightly different aesthetic. We've got uh, very large scale grooves here which seem to suggest some type of vehicle or industrial operation like mining or uh, quarrying or whatever. And we see these somewhat smooth rails here. We see kind of fine tick marks and we see the same type of tool mark pattern that we observe at Petra and many of these places. So that's to be considered. I would say that's just another calling card. And then same site, or nearby at least, we have these mysterious fins poking out of the rock with little uh, rounded nublets on the backs of them, or some of them. And then we have these linear grooves on the back. So we have to uh, reconcile this with uh, this. So it certainly looks like it could be something, doesn't it? It looks like it could be petrified large biology. It looks like it could be petrified architectural components like buildings or houses or something like that, like a wheel, petrified wheels or farming apparatus or something like that. And that's certainly possible. Or this could be imprints of something like the negative of something which was pressing up against wet stone or mud for a long period of time and then this petrified around it. That could be, uh, I, I don't think that's the most likely explanation. I think something just is so clever that it knows to create miscellaneous patterns which almost look like they're something in particular but aren't anything in particular. So these are 90% these are or 80% consistent with a petrified something or other explanation. And then I'm saying stuff like this rounded thing on the back of this fin, and then the absence of the rounded thing here, that's just additional components of the mystery. So it's component upon component upon component, or variation upon variation upon variation, which creates a very rich pattern soup, which almost amounts to one thing, it almost amounts to another thing, and it's all very strategically calculated, like why are these ones bigger, and why is this one shallower and wider over here? So that's all very strategic. Uh, it invites investigation and study, and you could get lost in that and spend your life in that. It is very fascinating, very awe-inspiring, and you wouldn't be wrong to feel compelled to dedicate your life to something like this. So that's why it's kind of sinister and mischievous. But in one sense, this is like the oldest trick in the book. <laughs> like, it's not that impressive once you kind of see it, because it's like, it's such an obvious trick to pull. 
in retrospect, don't you think? Like five years ago, this would have sounded crazy to me, but in retrospect, if this turns out to be true, it's a pretty obvious trick to pull. It's like, again, the oldest trick in the book, probably, uh, in certain communities. Just making patterns which look like they're almost this, almost that, in this weird middle ground. Okay, this one we kind of already covered in the previous video, but it's just channels and suggesting a, some type of vehicle, but probably not a vehicle, in my opinion. And very similar thing at Langenstein, Germany. The, this one was in Spain, this one's in Germany. And we have these kind of smooth edges, multiple strata here of uh, channel-like features, presumably by something with track digging ability, like an advanced vehicle. However, I don't think that's the case. And then another similar thing here in New Mexico, this channel here, we have all kinds of weird channels at this apparently Native American site, like the Anasazi or I don't know which culture, but um, some Native American site or settler site or something like that. It's apparently not too old, but it has all these patterns these silly track-like patterns and stairs. Some of them resemble tracks, like foot trails. Some of them resemble irrigation or like water channels. And some of them have aspects of both. Like this is a nice smooth channel, but like how many stairs do you need, right? How many feet do you have? Uh, here's one that makes a little more sense. Although this is certainly scalable. It doesn't look too steep to scale without steps, but I could imagine that being potentially legit this I could also imagine being potentially legit, although it's getting a little bit weirder. But then we get into stuff like this, which is just like deep, goofy double channel here, which meanders and it's all silly like. And here's a more continuous one. So we might suppose this is a vehicle track from an advanced vehicle, but in light of this and that, eh, it's not super consistent with that. Like this is not consistent with a vehicle explanation, right? And then also for consideration is the occurrence of strange petroglyphs in the area, especially the spiral archetype, the maze, if you will. And then the cliffside in general has lots of silly arbitrary holes and oddly cut uh, cavities or oddly configured and derpy, wonky, poorly crafted windows and stuff. And here's a good look at some of these little cavities and uh, indentations just marking up the whole hillside so these I don't think are steps right so if these are not steps then are the ones we were looking at before not steps as well I think that's a reasonable assumption and then if these are not steps or tracks from a vehicle then are these cavities and the indentations along the sides of them and stuff are these actual natural cavities are they artificial hand dug cavities by the inhabitants here? I don't know. I think it's just more silly patterns just like this. And same thing with these dots up here, these little subtle cavities. I don't think those are to be ignored either. And basically the same thing at all the rock cut cliffside sites in the world. Very similar thing. We have the track like patterns like here, subtle groove here. Kind of hard to make out in this image, but and then a very similar rock cut look to the cliffside. And I don't think it's cut. I just think it's imposed with high technology. Like you just beam your implementing device from your little advanced laptop. And then within a few seconds, this whole pattern just is formed in the rock by advanced means, uh, complete with indications of phony history and phony tracks and phony tool marks and all that. So here we have indications of some kind of track, but I don't think it's a track. Hopefully I'm not getting too annoying, just repeating the same explanations and theories over and over, but I don't know, whatever's. Okay, just another look here, some linear aspects here and the weird windows and the steps and all the details. And then in on the interior there, we have these, which are reminiscent of like Roman or that kind of weird aesthetic 
cathedral-like almost. And so this deepens the mystery as well. Like this is just a continuous deform from a grand architectural structure to a lump of rock. Like somewhere in the middle you get something like this. Uh, and then the some of the grooves and the holes and the odd proportions and meandering or uh, slightly off-kilter contours, that's all strategic as well. It's kind of wonkified or made wonky and a little derpy by design. Okay, and then a similar thing, just a slightly more crisp variation here in Angkor Wat, Cambodia. So go back here, This these stone columns, basically the same thing as this. And then this, see these right here? This is basically similar to a tracks pattern, kind of. It's just like a short little snippet of a track pattern imposed here for uh, presumably to make you think that this face has been machined by some type of device, even though it hasn't been. And we see here these columns, like the odd variations, like the inconsistency in the column type, and uh, like no, no, uh, I don't know what this portion is called, but no round thing here. And then this flat, clumsy look to the rock here is inconsistent with the level of technology which must have been used to craft this site. And then these derpy patterns here, these little nipples or bell-like patterns. So what I'm saying is the same technology which created this space here and all the columns is the same technology and strategy which created these little grooves here and these tool marks and all the vehicle tracks patterns around the world. Likely. So similar thing here, uh, these caves in India, we've got these grooves on the side which are basically just variations on the vehicle tracks pattern and these dotted or dashed lines here of holes, strange cavities, not to mention the weird placement of this structure just kind of embedded into the rock. That's nonsensical mystery as well. But like we get a good look here, these tracks up here and then here, this is just nonsensical mystery here, and we, we could puzzle over this for decades not figuring it out because we don't realize it's designed to not make sense. Okay, a couple more looks at the grooves here. Good look here at this groove. Just basically the same thing as the vehicle tracks. I would say even the brickwork may just be done by the same hand and the same strategy as well. And maybe like phony brickwork that's like made to look like bricks uh, somehow. And then here, these wonky steps and this disheveled derpy proportions here and the, the very haphazard kind of broken or it looks like ruins. It's very uh, mysterious and uh, dilapidated, I think is the word I'm looking for. And that's all by design. It's just whatever created the tracks pattern just came over here and imposed a dilapidation pattern <laughs> or a silly wonky steps pattern. Like these don't make sense. Like this is a half decent set of stairs, but you see how uneven they are. And then like, why is there stairs over here? And like over here, there's stairs on this side and this side. It's all not really making much sense. Okay, and then back to Petra. This is little Petra nearby, the main side of Petra. We have all kinds of the same type of vehicle track or just track in general pattern along the side of it, like right here and these grooves. You might think they're a separate phenomenon and you might be right, but in my opinion, these grooves here are just variations on the vehicle tracks pattern. And same thing with these striations, these silly faux windows. This partial staircase, which leads to nowhere, dead ends at the bottom there, uh, totally impractical. Uh, this groove right here, many of these little holes and cavities, this groove, these are all moderately suggestive nonsense features. And a few different looks here, like even this divot here, that's a strategic little hiccup. And this window here, it's somewhat consistent with a window or a shelf or 
something like that or dwelling or it's just a partial feature and then we have these little segments these short little uh, bursts of groove or dashes and that's all just a dead giveaway that it's not functional this is just silly derp in my opinion so this we might suspect is natural if we were just considering this one by itself but then when you see all these other ones and this vertical one and these little dashes and this little nub here all these other ones this one like meandering and dead ending and then the staircase over to the side it's kind of a giveaway that stuff like this groove right here are not natural nor is it functional in any way just another look there and you see the staircase just nonsensically dead ending so that's another giveaway that it's derp soup and here we get a good look at these tool marks which are also just imposed patterns in my opinion even the striations of the rock the rock itself may be whipped up into this configuration and given false indications of geological history so some of these striations may just be um, and the apparent geological history of the rock uh, that may even be mimicked as well and just a good look at the grooves how cheesy they look and that's basically all the same as the vehicle tracks just variations on it so this is basically the same as a vehicle track right here just a slight variation on it and placed differently and shorter and then quick side by side Petra Sri Lanka Petra Sri Lanka so again silly meandering derpy grooves that don't amount to anything moderately suggestive what was it used for we could spend decades and decades pondering over that and not come to any conclusions and chasing our tails and these reminiscence of stairs or steps but not really consistent with that especially when you compare it to all these haphazardly placed dots or indentations these mysterious or randomly oriented holes randomly placed holes or indentations here and then this if you look right here in this area we see like the angle here it's off kilter or slightly off like this is not parallel to this it's like shoddy construction if it's even legit in the first place and this randomly divoted corner here and here so it's tweaked out heavily and these this is like a big boulder that's off to the side of this main huge boulder the main site another look at the main site here and it's got a whole bunch of weird stuff up on top which i haven't even alluded to but like the boulders are off to the side here and you can kind of see them from the top of the structure and then this is what they look like just random holes and this is basically the same as the vehicle tracks pattern in the sense that it's silly nonsensical patterns which are mildly suggestive in some cases and heavily suggestive in other cases of certain explanations like some some places where you see these grooves it'll look a lot like a vehicle track but other places like this it'll look very little like a vehicle track but it's all the same protocol okay and then in Missouri in the United States Trist Falls Park we have these things which are very strictly reminiscent of some type of track like a wagon even or some type of high-tech vehicle or something and we see okay I could imagine that certainly being the case right but then we see here it this one splits off this way and this way so this one splits in two and then this one over here just right angles like this so th little uh, idiosyncrasies like this are giveaways that this pattern here on this portion of it is not a legitimate depiction of the origin story of this feature so if you just looked at it from like here to here along this stretch you would think okay that's some type of track but then if you continue it it suggests another explanation so that rules out the track pattern in my opinion so it gives itself away by contradicting itself another look at this angle here and these grooves in the rock itself which may be related nice look at the split here 
So it's mysterious and strangely configured by design. And then this is yet another giveaway. Like here, it looks like tracks, right? But then if we zoom in, we see it's resembling a stairs pattern now. So it could be two different hands at two different times coming in like it was tracks and then somebody later came and made some stairs. Certainly possible, but in light of some of the other sites we've seen with the weird staircases and holes, I think it's safe to assume that this is all just one author with multiple patterns that they create. And uh, so it tweaked out the tracks pattern to resemble a different type of pattern here. And then same deal, basically Samaipata in Bolivia, this over here certainly resembling some type of tracks and you can't really see it, but there's like a crisscross pattern along the side of it, which might suggest some type of rolling tracks, like the tread of tires or tank treads or something like that. So we might suspect that if we only looked at this aspect of it, but then we have like this circle aspect of it here. And then we have these little isolated pockets of weird, oddly configured holes and stuff. And so here's this arc here. Here's another circular arc. These uh, what look like quarried sides of the hillside here or the rocky cliffside. And then we have what look like windows or more quarrying. So these features over on this side of it are like halfway between quarrying and architectural. And then this is like mostly tracks like this is quasi tracks like so again, feature salad, feature soup, all amounting to a big mystery. So this, I'm not sure where this is. I think it's in Italy, maybe somewhere in Europe, I think. And it's just chilling along the side of the road here. And it's kind of molten looking. So we might suspect a kind of high heat technology, but like, what was it doing? And why is it so wobbly and ill-formed or wonky? So... I mean, if it's capable of making such high-tech alterations to the stone, why doesn't it use a more ordered trajectory or like more level? Like so here just kind of rises up with the terrain and it's kind of messy. And these little holes even are possible. Rather than being byproducts of construction or natural cavities, these may even be more arbitrary patterns, the same as these rails and grooves here. And then same thing with like entire European cities, like these tracks down the middle of the street were told that they're wagon ruts or cart ruts or something like that, or traffic areas of uh, former, you know, commercial and conventional activity. But, and then we see these big lumps of like bedrock on the side, this big rounded muffin of rock on the side. So this is all derp like rocky derp, and then these cheesy tool marks, which are not actual tool marks in my opinion. So this is all basically by the same hand for the same reason, just variations to create a, a false backdrop for people to live in. Uh, stuff like this, a little more. See, this would be like 99% suggestive of tracks. Like here and here. Usually if you look closely though, you'll find some detail which will uh, let you know that it's not like especially like one two three like i mean imagine trying to walk your horse or your wagon wagon wheels on this uneven thing and uh, also imagine how many pass-throughs it would take to grind a groove this deep in stone the time scale would be pretty crazy it's not on the order of tens or hundreds of years it'd be i think longer and then these lumps of stone potentially functional, you know, to keep out horses or whatever, who knows. Uh, but like this groove here, kind of, it's almost a groove, but then it's almost a gap between these rocks too. Like it's a border between this rock and this rock, but it's also like, if you look at the edge of this rock, it's kind of a groove as well. So it's like, there's a partial groove here, which is also, kind of just a gap between rocks, but it's kind of a groove too because of the slight indentation here along the side of this. And then kind of same thing here, like a slight indentation. So it's little details like these, which I think give away these 
features as not actual tracks. And then this one in the Azores Islands in Portugal. And here we see almost very strictly suggestive of some type of vehicle or tracks. And so it's somewhat plausible that these could be from conventional like wagons or whatever, you know. And then it's also somewhat plausible that it's like high-tech vehicles from a lost ancient civilization or whatever. Here we see kind of a slight variation on that, just a, a goofy little curve there. And I think little stuff like this is not to be ignored. It's like partially natural, like almost an actual feature of the environment, and then almost tracks like as well. And then even little ridges like this, it's very hard to discern what's part of this pattern and what's not. Okay, so we might suspect a narrative where there was like molten lava and then some advanced vehicle came and was doing some operation in the drying material, but that's not what happened, I think. I think what happened is something just imposed patterns on the landscape which looked like that is what happened. <clears throat> okay, so in the Azores, these tracks lead off into the water and same thing in Malta, we have tracks leading into the water, or apparent tracks. And for a while I was thinking, oh, that must mean that this is from a vehicle which went around and sculpted the coasts. And yes, I think the, the coastlines are most likely sculpted to a degree, to a heavy degree probably. But not necessarily by the vehicle that these tracks suggest. So... So we do see track-like patterns everywhere, including along coastlines, which suggest some type of sculpting track-like vehicle, but that may not be what created those patterns. Um, it's a little out there, maybe even a bit of a stretch, but I don't necessarily think this is the tracks of an actual vehicle which is running off into the water. I think it's just more deliberate mystery, layer upon layer of rich, arrows pointing in many different directions of potential explanation. And then here at Starbuck Island, kind of the middle of nowhere, we've got tracks like patterns like this, and then this guy obviously, potential device here, but likely I would say it's, this may not even be legit tracks, it may just be <laughs> yet another layer of deliberate mystery. And then Last image here, just a nice little side-by-side -side of the various looks to these sites, and hopefully you're looking at these in a slightly different light now. We see all the variations like the leveled fields, the wonky contours, the uh, ups and downs, the double track, triple track, the crossing tracks, these short little ticks, the sharply defined grooves, the rounded, more weathered looking ones, the sheer tunnels, the big channels with the tool marks along the side, and the f uh, fields and the ravines with all kinds of ribbing and rich details. And one last time I'll say that's all derpy rich variations on patterns and it's all designed to create a big unsolvable mystery and I'll reiterate that that's not my original thought. I got that from, whatchamacallit, interview with a Roswell alien, which, who knows, maybe that's a completely fallacious document. But nonetheless, it's an interesting idea. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you later.